Hi everyone! So today I thought I would uh, try the straws again but I've always done it from the middle out and I thought what if I start by a corner and blow it towards the other corners like this, you know? I think it would look uh, really nice and I wanted to try that and so for that, I decided, well, I'll go with metallic paints only. I really like uh, metallic and pearlescent paints because when you pour them, very often there will be details in them because of the different pigments used in them, because of uh, the iridescent pigment itself. And I think that it's going to be really interesting uh, to see all the details uh, while the paint is blown away. And yeah, and for that I also mixed my paints uh, pretty much the usual way. For the heavy body paint, it's 50-50 paint medium and then 25% water. For the fluid acrylic, 30% paint to 70% medium and then about 10% water. And for the inks, I just mixed one part ink to ten part medium, no water. Uh, the inks are quite liquid already, I'm not looking for cells and uh, so I didn't add water. I think they're the right consistency right from the bat uh, and I think it's going to be just fine like that. So how about we get started and I zoom you in. Alright, so I will start by pouring a base coat so the paint flows easier on the whole canvas. And my base coat is going to be gold. I'm going to tilt it. Try and even out that coat of paint. It looks like a Christmas gift. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's what came to my mind right away. Christmas presents. Yay! It's Christmas. Not really, but Okay, so let's... I just made a mess. Not cool. My paint.
and I think I'm going to leave it just like that and I quite like it it was a, a good idea <laughs> no credit to me <laughs> um, yeah it's quite special and I think uh, it's really nice and of course it would be hung just like this and look at my hands <laughs> my hands are Christmas presents too so shiny um, well my hands my gloves and I love it of course a lot of paint ran off at the corner here but I'm going to use all of this those cans to make jewelry I have someone that asked me to make another video on uh, jewelry and I will do that uh, pretty soon I will show you how I make mine uh, from A to Z well not quite Z but just a pendant itself I think is the most important part and then uh, I guess we can all figure out a way to uh, display them uh, what kind of uh, chain or cord we want I just put paint on myself so yeah I don't think it will change all that much so no time lapse today I will however use my hair dryer to pop the bubbles just quickly uh, yeah low heat low all everything at low and yeah Okay, so I'll come back to that after the video is done filming. <laughs> and yeah, I like it. I really do. I think it's lovely. I think uh, it really adds a, a new dimension to it. And yeah. Love, uh, I think the fact I left a little bit of color. I would have liked to leave a little bit more, but... I think that's fine too, just like that. And I quite like uh, the whole design, uh, the explosion outward, the movement. I think it's really cool. Love those lines here. I'm not sure if you can, yeah, the camera picks them up. And I, I feel like I want to uh, accentuate it, those lines and bring a brush back into it. I think it would look really nice. So I'm going to experiment and try this. Uh, you can stop here. I mean, if you like it like that, but for the sake of the video, I will try it. And I think that will add something to it, uh, especially with uh, pearlescent metallic paints. It's going to really accentuate that movement there. And I, I think it's going to look nice. And I can't wait to see how that will dry. Because right now, the colors look a bit dull. Uh, not all that bright. But as it dries, the... All the metallic paints will really pop the pearlescent effect will pop and I think it's going to be really really cool and I can't wait to see that uh, no fluorescent side on that one uh, just all metallic paints and uh, I think it's going to look really really cool and I can't wait to see uh, how it dries really love all the little details here uh, love um, everything about it I think the gold maybe 
would have been a the actually no the pearl would have been a better background the gold is a bit dark uh, and the colors uh, mixed a lot with it and created a bit of uh, brownish hues on the edges but I think uh, that as it dries it's going to be a lot more the, the other colors will pop a lot more and we'll see a lot more of them and yeah can't wait to see that um, sadly I'm a bit last minute um, so I won't be able to put a dried picture in the video I will put it in the next video or on my Facebook page Twitter uh, I will post everything there so you can see it if needs be so yeah and we're back and uh, I'm a happy painter quite happy with all of uh, it is uh, drying well drying and <laughs> not yet anyway <laughs> I'm a bit optimistic <laughs> I, I quite um, enjoy the painting I really can't wait for it to dry actually and uh, I think it's going to look super nice with all metallic paints and I can't wait to see that so yeah um, let me know what you think of uh, starting from a corner instead of in the middle uh, I think it's different. It looks nice. Uh, the middle uh, looks also nice. Uh, that's always what I did, but I decided, hey, why not make a change, you know, and go for this technique, but from a corner, or I could also go from a side, you know. Uh, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> so, yeah, on that note, uh, if you like this video, give it a like. It helps me out a lot. And yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!